Man, I don't know if you guys have played this new Zix game, Hextech Mayhem, but it has been an absolute blast. I have never really played any rhythm auto runners, but just because it's Zix with the fantastic voiceover, I just got hooked. There's something so satisfying about it. If you're not interested in that Riot Forge game, I have something that is just as satisfying for you. This is probably my favorite deck to play right now. And I'm specifically saying right now because while Victor Zoe is my favorite deck of all time, it's just not playable in this meta really. So this is just a deck that I have been having the most fun with right now by far. I also went on like a massive winning streak with this deck, so I could definitely recommend it if you're looking to climb some ranks. This is a deck where you actually use Ziggs to level him up and use his level 2 ability. When an ally landmark is destroyed, deal 2 to the enemy nexus. This part of the ability sometimes lets you do more damage than a decimate at burst speed, just because you get to blow up your landmarks with a card like Unleashed Energy. And that's one of the things that is just so, so satisfying about this deck. You have a lot of, let's call it burn damage, because that's basically what it is, where you deal damage directly to the enemy nexus whenever a landmark gets destroyed. And it leaves your opponent in these very awkward spots, because we're some a bunch of Roiling Sands. So if they summon a unit while Ziggs is leveled, they basically deal two to their Nexus every time they want to play a unit. And that's the first part of this deck. Destroying landmarks to get payoff from something like Herald of the Magus by popping the Endless Devout early so you don't have to wait three turns for it. Popping landmarks so you get to deal four damage through Rider Arcane instead of sacrificing one of your mana units. Stunning your opponent with the Explosive Minefield, etc. It just feels really good to get these payoffs. The second part though really comes from the champions, which are Ziggs and Talia, who when you attack with them, put an ability on the stack that deals damage to their blocker. What that means is that you'll be removing health from your blocker before they even attack. So Talia, for example, once he's leveled, she will deal two damage to her blocker three times. And that makes Overwhelm on her just that much better, which is exactly where Herald of the Magus and the Absolver come in. By the way, I think this is the proper ratio, playing two Absolvers and one Herald of the Magus. If you're playing any landmark decks with Talia and Melfi 2, for example, this is the ratio you want to go. For. Herald of the Magus can definitely feel a little bit awkward if you're running too many of them. So having one of these and just the Absolver as more of like a flexible card, even if you need to protect your units, feels pretty good. And if none of that works, the one thing I have not talked about, one more payoff for destroying all your landmarks is Arsenal Schwarzenegger himself. This card can win games by itself and it just feels so good when it gets something like Scout and Lifesteal when you're low on health or Scout and Elusive where you want to close a game when the opponent is at 10 HP or something. I love this card and any deck that he goes in, he just becomes one of the highlights. We also have a card like Ancient Hourglass you could cut this card if you're not seeing much use for it and add one more arsenal for example or one more pokey stick but i really like the potential that ancient hourglass gives you for example you can use it on a ziggs and then you can copy ziggs with talia you can use it on arsenal and when he comes back out of the hourglass he doubles his keywords again and yeah there are so many small things you can do here but it all comes down to how you utilize the landmarks and it feels super good when it pays off so give it a try let me know what you think of the video and enjoy the high rolls Hey, welcome to the chat, Catapan. Poopy Ziggs, where Ziggs was later there because he's a good body and burns. Yeah, I mean, three mana, three, four. That's pretty good. Ziggs is something I can keep against this deck, I guess. Can we build an allegiance deck that uses predict to proc it instead of going just one region? That's possible, but every good predict card is usually like at least two mana. And every allegiance card is four mana. So you'd have to use card like Fell Repressions so you can actually play them on curve or what? Is Arsenal not a 3 of? It's possible. Like, I would probably cut something like the Ancient Hourglass for Arsenal. I think. Shellfolk is great with Fell Oppressions. Then you'd have to play Shurima Bandle City. So you'd have to play the Golden Ambassador. It'd be a Golden Ambassador deck. What do you want Golden Ambassador to land on? You don't really want it to land on Vi. No, wait, that Vi is built over, so that doesn't even work. It's kind of hard to say. Arsenal's like Leviathan, you need three of them. I can do it. I don't think I'm attacking into this. Unless he plays. I 
I think he's going to use the spell here, right? So we really want an Ancient Hourglass. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty good for us, actually. Unless there's a single combat. Single combat is le less good. I feel like if I have one more spell mana, I could just pass it entire time, let Zix go into the hourglass and then use Tali on him. <laughs> means so little Don't think I've seen some of them do it. I think they do run concerted. Like concerted is just broke. Stupid card. Well, I could have killed the Lux, but then Talia would probably die too. I just gotta make sure I don't die this turn and then win next round. Six. This is two more damage. So now he's at four. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious, actually. Concerned is a strong card, but it's not broken. Yeah, no, true. It's not broken. Just saying, it's very, very powerful in this type of deck. Play a minion. Just play a minion. What what would what could go wrong? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, six dies here actually, right? So the cannon goes on six now. Or this thing, whatever. Laser. So I gotta win with Talia here. You do have overwhelm? Yeah, I do. I all right. Relax your knees. This is lethal. Felt pretty clean. Clean win. Ugh, what a great day. Did you? Oh, wait, Talia almost level five. Wait. She about to be number four. Oh, wait, okay, chat. Help me. <gasps> okay, I mean I, I asked chat for help. Wait, what the hell? It's three Noxus cards. Why is everybody saying Swain? It's gotta be Riven. I just showed that I have her in third place. It's gotta be Riven. Oh my god, no. Don't let Darius win. A few more seconds. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, chat. Thank you. I knew you'd do the right thing. Um, yeah, I think this is probably pretty unfavored if we don't draw our champs. Okay, there's one. You still have your sunburns? All right. Well, fine, you can keep them for now. All hail the Mega's Ascendant.
<laughs> Jesus, it's just four damage, huh? Five, I guess. At least if this one dies, I can feel good about it. I'm sure that there's a shelf hook on your mouth. That's not a question. Huh. That's an interesting trade. Please bring a Tarek deck. I will at some point. I actually really like playing Tarek. Please, no! Alright, thank god we played this card first. Alright, we only lose one HP. That, that could be a lot worse. If that Lulu lived, I would not be happy. Alright, so we're gonna play Rock Hopper into Zix, I guess? Oh, this is really good against support decks. Look at this place. Time to bust out some combustion. I don't know. I think I have to attack. Is that you don't have to say anything, just paying the Gragas one? I didn't have to. Noxus being strong makes I don't know if I agree. I think Noxus being strong usually is kind of okay, strangely. I got a short fuse. You're not going for the life deal. That seems fine, right? Yeah, I was really hoping for like the overwhelm thing. Um... I just can't wait. Here we go. Yeah, we could top that guy. I need to think about this. Okay, so... We can copy this with Talia, and then Ziggs will do 4 damage, and then if we pull something with Talia... So you can deal 4... This should be lethal, then. If we do this... We draw a card that might be Absolver, and we can pull the 3-1 with Talia, dealing 4 damage. It's exactly lethal. Oh, that also really helps. This is also 2 extra damage. I can actually do this, too. I don't think Zix ever dies here. What does Zix die to? Is this risky to do? What if it's like... I'm just gonna try. I don't think there's anything that can do anything about this. So this is lethal, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, GG. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was thinking about something like Syncopation or something, and we need Zix to stay alive this turn, because now the two landmarks explode and deal four damage to his Nexus. I was mostly scared about a combat trick. Syncopation? It's not a terrible card. It has its moments. I think, uh, I actually think that Noxus plays a really fair control game. Like, what they do is very straightforward. They usually require, like, multiple cards to deal with one of your cards, too, if they don't play it right. 
Whereas decks like Failure Shadow Elves, they have removal and healing, so it's a lot harder to actually make damage stick. What's the Lulu cosplay for? It's for Lulu cosplay. It's uh, it's subs. I currently have 142 sub points, and when we reach 500, if ever, I'm doing a Lulu cosplay. Yeah, for the people that missed it, I I got this game today. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And the first thing I did, where you could name your rival, was name my rival Ionia. <laughs> it, make, it, it was the only sensible thing to do. I named my rival my biggest rival. Aren't you a bit tall to be Lulu? Nah. Nah, I'll, I'll just... Uh... You've seen those clips of people that put like shoes on their on their knees so they look smaller? That's what I'm gonna do. In this game you have to go for the girl character? I picked the boy. What is this hand? If it's made of sand, I can write it. Does, he, does he finally uh, it's current active subs. So when I have 500 active subs. I'll do a Lulu cosplay. Now you have Prismatic Riven, it's time to play Swain Riven Flurry. Oh, that's kind of spicy. Can you draw Lulu cosplaying as you? Oh, dude, that's that's too complicated. <laughs> I, I, I'll i do, if, if somebody, you, you can request a champion and I'll make something spicy out of it. I can do that. I'll uh, I'll, I'll refund you for that. That's slightly too complicated and I don't wanna, want it to like take up the entire stream time. I remember one of my old classmates during elementary school named their rival three question marks because that was their name before you can name them. And you get asked later what the name for your rival was. <laughs> Wait, what? Took it a little bit too literally. How tall are you? I'm 186. This is risky to do. I don't know. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Not even attacking, huh? My journey won't end until I'm through weaving it. I'm uh, I'm expecting to get Leona here. Third rig gang, I, I took the penguin. It's that when I did, well, that's what I did when I was a kid. Do you think? Paleo Senna will. Oh man, I wish I got Leona. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a huge misplay. Because I was just scared of a concerted strike, but now I don't have to be anymore. There you go, 6 HP. Imagine if going for the firefighter fighting. Which one of the five? Can't plat, don't judge people in ranks when people don't play that much. Yeah, that's fair. I'm 186. So I'm like. I don't know. I don't know how that system works. Warriors of the Valorant, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak. Glorious light rains down. This is two damage. Uh, I will actually play this first. Because if this dies, we just have lethal on burst next to Yeah, we have burst lethal next turn, right? This is gonna seem weird, but the reason I played this first instead of just stunning, an opponent is gonna be confused by this too. I wanted that thing to die, so we have burst lethal. Why block vulnerable one? Doesn't matter. I, these lethals, man. These lethals are something special. Yeah, 
There we go. Feels good. The truth is, this is all actually my master plan to someday, number one, gender bend the sunny avatar. Make it a waifu for everyone in chat to simp for. You get more primers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Reporting in. Ah. I gotta take that kill. I think utilizing the concede button is the poppy zix counter. They literally can't do nothing. You make a good point. <laughs> I gotta hope he didn't find a flock. Gotta pray. Zix dies here. Is it a flock? You're kidding, right? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, that's terrible. That is not a good play, my friend. Okay, well, he just kind of threw. What the hell? We we just got three units for free now. Why would you ever why would you ever flock that one? Or uh cooling strike that one. No, Claptrap is right about my first night name. Me the song of the rock. Yeah, yeah. This could be twelve damage. But yeah. It's just such a big board. I have returned from Lurken and have been granted 5 attack over 10 turns. Beautiful. Welcome back. I don't know if stunning was correct. I don't think it is. It doesn't feel right. It is 3 damage. We can live with that. Bye bye Poppy. Na, 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 na. That's your attack. Wow. Cacophony. Let's try to set up lethal here, maybe. I'm attacking. Uh, actually, let's just kill the poppy again. They stun Ziggs. And then we get to attack with four units. Destroy this for one more damage. Potentially have another stun, too. He has four mana. Ideally, he'll play another poppy here, and then we win the game. Imagine playing this kind of Ziggs deck. This is a real zigzag. Dude, I'm praying for like a, a noxion fervor here or something. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh no, dude. Oh, he just lost. Absolutely embarrassed. Where's the Terra key mode? No. I don't have it equipped anymore because people said the Terra key mode was BM. 
You guys want me to BM so hard. I already like prematurely emoted. I think it's a start of most sets is dysfunctional, and I figured it would be the same, especially with the over 100 augments, but they somehow pulled it off. The augments make it so good, and I think the units in the set are just fantastic. That it's so much right with this set. Uh, should I hard mulligan here for stun? Flat gamer, yep. Hey, Abraxas, how's it going? Oh, I'll change the link censoring, the auto permits. Oh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's good. Thank you, Clepro. You gotta get Pike Skin and Rune King is actually nice. Uh, I mean, I, I have that thing. The, the, the deluxe version. I can't wait to unlock Pike. I already know my team. It's gonna be Braum, Pike, and probably Ari, I think. It's either Ari or Misfortune. So far, so good. How's the climbing going? Yeah, we're, we're, having a, we're having a very positive record here, but you know, I'm still stuck in the depths a flat somewhere. That so could be better. Oh, that's really awkward. I actually think I have to play this. To increase the chances of... Hmm, uh... that could be really bad. Yeah, that's not good. Damn, now I'm punished for not playing Zix. I think I lost this one. Poor start. mana. And I thought there was something good to see. Ugh, yeah, the problem is that Pike can level off a of bone skewer now. This being at 1 HP is pretty good. Bone skewer or he's just dead. No, oh, he's dead. Alright, GG then. I don't know. That was just lucky that we got that one unit to one HP, so Zix could just kill it with overwhelm. Darkness. That's a pretty good curve. The mass revive. Yeah. Like two wins. Alright, two wins. And we'll go next deck. Trash, it is gonna take a while. Just have fun with the game. Runeterra is a fantastic game, so time will fly. And more importantly, you're getting better as you play. Thoughts about the Zed Poppy deck? <laughs> Comes down to that. 
Just puke. Vomit. Sickness. I think the last Lurk don't run Bone Skewer's luck. The thing is, he needed more than one. He needed more than one Bone Skewer because I still had the three mana burst speed spell. One of my pass here. Doesn't care. Place the fire. Yeah, that sucks. He do be stacking. That's kind of an interesting play. Isn't this out of range now? Is this throwing? This might be throwing. Do the Alter Queen's level gameplays you made when you started the game haunt you at night before you sleep too? Oh, as in how bad I was? Yeah, kinda. Because I like, in beta, I was gold. <laughs> I don't know if this is throwing, but the thing is, if I do this, he can't instantly... Yeah, I think I'm doing this. I'm trying my hardest to win. This is technical. Okay, so he needs to heal now to not die next turn. What's happening here? Isn't he still dead? This is still lethal. This is one. This is two, right? Oh, Craig! Oh, the nut! Oh my god! Yo, okay, that was that not like. How can you not love this deck after that? Oh my god, dude. I feel so good. <gasps> he actually got us. The snipe. K-Rad. <laughs> my gatekeeper to plat too. <laughs> I just love how chill and friendly Sunny is. Always lift my mood after a hard day of work. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it here. This is countdown three if it dies this turn. Yeah, I think this is. Goes to three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I was expecting this or the, the other 6 mana spell, but now on turn 5 we can copy this with Palio. He's gatekeeping us to plat 2 and to mastery 5 with Talia. Hold 
so I actually think I might well I mean it's kind of likely that Talia dies right maybe this is not the play and they run Scorched Earth yeah I guess I shouldn't play this <laughs> This is giving me some flock vibes. Which is fine. Have you played Arsenal once yet? I haven't, but we are gonna this turn, uh, this game. Oh, really? Hey, my splitter. How's it going? But now flock doesn't even kill this anymore. We're popping off kind of this game, but he's probably gonna have answers. Yeah, I'm fine, too. I think we're happy with this. I could try to push more damage with this. No, I shouldn't. Is he level? How that design is balanced this, but in my opinion, boring. I don't know. I don't mind it. Four keywords, uh, five with this. Oh. So actually, uh, I got punished. I missed two damage because I played the pokey stick after this spell. I mean, this deck is broken. What do you do? Princess, damn. Oh wait, this is this is you, right? Mine lurker, my flitter. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> And there it is. And with this game, we gain a rank, and we get Talia to level 5. Let us see how beautiful it is. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Here he is. Beauty. The fourth one. <laughs>